Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Patricia here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the United States, but more specifically here in Alaska. Hey, I got to show you something real quick. I'm Close your eyes if you don't want to see the shaking, but I'm going to go back and show you. So I showed you the other day what it looks like outside my classroom. Today, this is what it looks like in my classroom. Yeah, I kid you not. It's totally, completely white out there. All right, I'm going to see if I can show you this snow berm. Yeah, that's a snow berm right below my window. And it's about, oh, I'd say a good 15 feet down. But that snow berm comes almost up to my window. <laughs> Anyway, we have a little bit of snow in here. This is my classroom. Don't look. It's such a disaster. Well, it's not too bad right now, but these are all my kids' desks. And I teach kindergarten, so there's my ABCs and one, two, threes, and my calendar for the kids. Anyway, this is my classroom, my smart board. All right, I'm going to put this back up here. I just wanted to show you because it's kind of funny that it's completely white out there. All right, I'm going to fix it just a little bit here. All right, can everybody see? All right, there we go. Okay, so today we are going to look at a new card. We're going to use Grassy Grove. I'm going to have this out because I'm going to use it in a minute. Okay, so Grassy Grove and Grove Dies. Oh my goodness, I love this set. I love it, love it. And I knew, you know, how some sets you have to see what other demonstrators use before you really love it. Well, I loved this one from the get-go. For one, I love the deer and the, the woodsy kind of um, feel and the the grasses, you know, I mean, just oh, the deer. There are actually three deer in the, the die set. This deer that cuts out the one that you see in the stamp set, and then these two deer that we're going to use today, and then this is that little forest, and then the two trees, and the grassy, or well, this one, sort of the grassy area, grass with flowers. This then cuts out the top of this. And then, of course, we've got the, the die set that cuts out. Let me pull that out because I want to actually look at those two today. I mean, those two, that today. All right. So this is the die. Now, if you really look at this, you would think, let me pull out my little, you know, that you would put it across your paper like this, right? Well, one of the things I like to encourage you to do is sort of try to think a little bit outside the box. And so I cut it. Let me put something behind this. This way. So instead of cutting it the white background, I cut it going up. And actually what I did is just balanced it on there. Now you could have gone you know, all the way to the edge or all the way to the edge. But something I do want you to notice is that it does not cut this whole thing out. It just cuts out the trees and the grasses at the bottom. So um, when I first got it, I thought this top and this bottom were going to cut out. But if you look at the die, you can see there's nothing there to actually cut that out. Just the little bits of the trees and at the bottom the little grasses and of course the actual um, trunks of the trees. So let me show you um, some things that I have done on this one. I think I showed you this one the other day and said I'm going to do this one soon so look for it and this was the first one that I did where the trees are standing up and what I did with it is I took my, I don't have my brush, I took my brushes 
and just brushed color on the trunks and then brushed color at the top. And then I stamped this one at the bottom. I stamped and die cut it out behind my deer. Then I put my deer on there, die cut out, and then just stamped in the middle. But what I used for that background, that little bit of color that's back there, I think was this one. Okay, you see that? Can you see how that's that in there? And I also stamped this on that background. If you look really closely, you can see that that's stamped there. Well, again, remember this set uh, where's my piece that tells me what this is? There it is, in the middle, of course, is New Horizons 6x6. I have absolutely fallen in love with this. I've had, that's probably my favorite, but now I'm finding other things that I can use. This one I, I did the other day where I cut out the grass and this is actually the planks, but I cut it out as a piece of sky um, because I found that in one of the catalogs or something. Um, whoops, maybe this or this. You could use it either way, I suppose. Anyway, love this paper. I think I've now ordered, I don't know, maybe four of them <laughs> because it's it does so much of the work for you and um, then, of course, you know, stamped my um, envelope. Okay, so if you need instructions on how to do that, let me know in the comments below, and um, I will do that one for you. This is one that I did the other day. Again, used one of those papers behind it. So let me find that particular paper. Where did it go? I just saw it. This one. Like I said, the one that I was loving. And what I did, what I suggest, is that you take the die cut and start, you know, moving it around on here. What do you like? That one's got cut out. So, you know, where do you like it? I mean, that, even that, just, oh, love it. Okay, here. Move it around until you find where what's behind it floats your boat. Okay, it's the same one. Oh, as they try to fall off. Here we go. Check this out or turn it this way. Check it out here. Go up there. Okay, once you've found the background that works for you, and so the one that I have found that works for me, is this one and I moved it around on my um, it was it's one of the back the side the back sides of some of these car these um, papers let me see if I can find it for you oh there it is right there okay so on the front is this or the back I don't know both of these are kind of um, but anyway then I moved it around until what I had in the background worked for me somewhere here. Um, you know what? It isn't even this one. My bad. It's another blue one. So here, maybe it's this one. Yes, it's this one. Okay, so it's about right there is where I cut that. Whoop, hello. <laughs> Cut it out somewhere there. Let's see, how did I do this? Mm, I must have done it like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You get the idea. So, that's what I did. And then I cut it out. So, I cut it out at, um, where is, it's uh, five and a quarter by four. Okay, I just know that without measuring it because that takes about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So, let's glue this down. Hello. And again, I like to use my, whoa. I like to use my, now see, I could use this side too. Eh, but not with what I have. I'm doing this side. <laughs> anyway, uh, using my liquid glue 
I want to be sure I get those corners nicely and the edges. There we go. And then I'm going to put it down on my card base. My card base is Misty Moonlight, a half a sheet of 8.5 by 11, which is the United States American Standard. Okay. Then I'm going to take my piece. Now I'm going to make sure that that's where I wanted it. Yep, that works. Now for this piece, I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. So if you just bend it and pull those dimensionals off, you'll notice I'm using black because I've got it on a dark background and a black um, front piece. Okay, so I'm going to put... Now I don't want to put too many on here because... I, well, I will put one here, but I don't want to put any down here because I don't want them to get in the way. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and, and I'll show you what I mean by get in the way in just a minute. Take all these off, and you can tell that really easily once they're off of there with black because they blend in except they're a little shiny. All right, so we've gotten all those off. Now, very carefully, put that down. Don't push it until, uh, push it down, you know. Uh, in other words, push on your corners to seal it in until you've got everything on there the way you want it. There we go, I've got them all pushed down. Then, somewhere in this mess, I have a couple of deer that I'm, oh, I forgot to even, oh, here they are. Um, I forgot to show you about the, the uh, catalog, so I'll show you that in a minute. Now, I've got this put up on dimensionals, okay? I could, if I were going to put a sentiment in here, right here, I could put it on now. And you know what I forgot to do is put my sentiment on before I glued this down. <gasps> my bad. Okay, we're going to put it on a piece of black, a black strip because I do not want to mess it up at this point. All right, so now I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm going to put my deer directly down on the card. And I just barely want to put that little deer back behind those grasses. She's kind of... There we go. She's just barely in the grass. And then I've got my little baby deer. Now, Alaska, of course, these would be moose. But we do have deer um, on Kodiak and Afognak Islands. But um, really, we don't have too many deer, per se. Other than if you want to count the fact that moose are the largest of the deer family. Okay? Isn't that just... Oh, I love it. Okay, I love this one too. This is the one I made the other day. This one is just so rich in color. It just, just awes me. Sometimes you need to know that someone really cares. And I did put that on with embossing, uh, uh, embossing powder is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to do the same here. But because I've already glued that down, I do happen to have a strip of black. This is not a strip of black. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just found a little bitty strip of black. And my sentiment fits. <laughs> How do you like that? All right, let's move these catalogs. I won't forget, I hope, to come back to them. All right, so I've got my... Um, got to move this as well. Um, I have my sentiment. It's just going to be thank you. I am going to use Versamark ink. Versamark ink takes a long time. Not a long time, but longer to dry. So I am going to, um, I think I'll cut this out. Uh, I don't know. We're going to put it right in the middle just in case we do who knows what with it. All right. And I didn't get it even, so that's okay because I'm going to cut it out. Now I'm going to put my uh, dry emboss powder on there, except, oh, here it is. I need my, I just use um, coffee filters. And this is white 
looks like there's a tiny little dot of something in there. This is very delicate surgery, I want you to know. And I'm just doing this because I'm on camera. Otherwise, I wouldn't even worry about it. <laughs> How silly is that? All right, let's put some ink or uh, dry emboss powder on there. Swish it around a little bit. Tap it off. Now, you'll notice that I did get... Uh, don't have a brush right here. So I'm just going to use my finger because I did not use an embossing buddy which would make this non-static and I really should have done that because I do know where I live in a very 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 dry and staticky environment way up here in the north of Alaska okay put that back in there and save it we don't want to throw away any of our embossing powder keep trying to call it embossing ink for some reason and now I need my uh, I keep wanting to call it a blowtorch <laughs> it's not anything like a blowtorch but I do need to plug it in there we go it's my heat gun okay there's one or two settings on there. Zero, of course, is off. So I am going... Did you know that zero was not even acknowledged as a number until the 1100s? How cool is that? All right. Because this is such a small piece of paper, I am going to hold it with my reverse tweezers. I do want it to get nice and hot. And then... melt that powder do it a little bit on the back and once it's melted you're done but see how crooked that is it doesn't matter because we're gonna cut it you gotta love that all right so then what I'm gonna do is take my paper snips and I am just going to give it a little bit of a trim because normally I would have put this on the card and if I had gotten it crooked I would have had to do this anyway so there's always a way to fix if you will your mistakes and one of the things that I tell my students is that if you learn something from it it's not a mistake okay and there we go there we go nice takes a few seconds all right we are going to put a dimensional on it but I believe we're going to go ahead and go with the small black dimensionals there we go I'm going to peel these backings off hello there we go okay Everything wants to stick to me. And, oh, should I put it down here? Or should I put it... Hmm. I think I'm going to put... Oh, now I can't decide where I want... I'm going to put it down here. Right there. Make sure it's even. And push it down. How cool is that? Now, I do have to admit that I like this one better because of the bright colors. But... I really like this one. This one is just very, very different. And yet, it's using the exact same tools. How cool is that? I just love it. I mean, really, really very different on all three of them. Two of them are thank you cards. One is a, oh, you know, sometimes you just need to know that someone really cares, right? 
Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so those are the cards for today. I hope you learned something. I have not made myself a uh, an envelope, but I will do that in a moment. Let me get some things out of here. Uh, there we go. Tell them like that. There we go. There are the three cards that we made today. No, we didn't make three. I showed you two and made one. All right, I hope you like them. If you would let me know in the comments below which of these you like best, which you think you would try first, etc. And let me know, too, if you want me to show you how to do this one. And I am certainly happy to do that. And uh, there we go. We're done. If you would give me a thumbs up, that would be very, very appreciated. Um, also, a... Uh, subscription if you have not already subscribed and ring that bell that's right beside it so you'll get notifications anytime I publish a new video and thank you thank you have a great evening or day wherever you are I appreciate you stopping by have a good one thank you